Welcome to this Windows channel and this is another um, video for the fall update. Um, some more observations, personal observations of the fall update and um, also, um, you know, I've been checking a lot of stuff about this fall update and also talking, you know, I'll be talking about the way it might uh, update depending on the machine. So. My first observations, of course, are still, I still get a lot of people saying, hey, I don't get the update, I don't get the update. Well, Microsoft did issue a uh, little bulletin regarding people that don't have the update in their Windows update. And they are really saying, be patient. Uh, some people may not have it right now, but just be patient and it should um, arrive eventually. So if you don't you know, want to rush things, just wait and you'll have it appear at some point on your Windows update. Of course, for those that want to rush things a little more or if you have an error message while trying it, you can of course go and um, simply uh, Google download Windows 10 or check my video where I show you um, where to get it and uh, you go to the www.microsoft.com website. It's very important to go to this site specifically here. You'll go to this page and um, just click download tool now and upgrade your PC via the tool. It uh, seems to work for a lot of people that it didn't want to work, basically. Um, one of the things I want to also address here is... Um, a few observations that I have concerning um, default apps. I've noticed that um, on, not on all of my computers and I think it's um, this one only because of the way that I've used the download tool to upgrade instead of using the download the uh, Windows update. But I've noticed that on my computer the default apps changed. So for my video playback instead of being the DOM pod player, it actually sent me to the uh, movies and TV app to play my videos, for example. So if you notice that some of the defaults are changed, um, all you have to do, you know, your, your apps and your programs are still there, so all you have to do is simply go to default apps settings. And there, uh, simply make sure that, you know, for example, my video player was changed from uh, it was at uh, Film and TV, so I've changed it to the DOM pod player, which is the one I want. Um, if you have a different photo viewer, it uh, revert back to photos for me, so you can use another one. Uh, and so on, you can uh, choose other defaults for different things. So choose a default mail, for example. Of course, I'll use mail here. And um, just, you know, check it out. Uh, my web browser default is Google Chrome in my case. And uh, so, you know, some defaults change for me, and it depends on the um, the update path, I think, because, like I said, other computers that I have, the defaults did not change, though. So these are little observations. Apart from that, I've been checking out, of course, the forums and, you know, where people complain about problems and so on. And uh, there isn't a high volume of problems, meaning that yeah, there's a lot of comments about people having errors and problems after upgrade, but it's not higher than normal, meaning that for such a big update, it's not that many people actually that have problems. And for the most part, pretty much everybody upgrades very well to this new fall update of Windows 10. So, uh, of course, if anything pops up or any fix for some specific issues uh, pop up, I will, of course, post videos to help you with that and um, make sure that you uh, check out your drivers if you've got issues just you know go to device manager and uninstall and let Windows reinstall it and often it's going to fix things and uh, hopefully you got a good update to Windows 10 fall update if you enjoy my videos why not subscribe to my channel you'll be informed when new videos are online give us a thumbs up if you like our videos and uh, if you have any comments questions, suggestions, problems, share it with us. We'll try to help you if we can. And uh, thank you for watching.